welcome back to Lampis. A week of quarantine. We have been at home for now seven days since Friday last week. And how are you? Yeah, I wanted to come out here and talk about something highly requested is how to make just a DIY mouth or nose mask for yourself, especially since I would say in Germany since maybe two weeks or three weeks ago there were no masks and there are still no masks in the supermarket or in the grocery market in the pharmacy even in the like in the in the shop where you usually buy construction product like we just thought we could get those ones that people usually use when they're painting they are not available we tried to order from Amazon. Amazon is also doesn't have this stuff in stock. They all, like when you put in an order, they will tell you it will be delivered after three weeks. So we'll talk about that. Just how to make your own mask at home. Something that will help you. And the second thing will be a hand sanitizer. These are also other things besides toilet papers that are not in the grocery shops at the moment they are also like toilet they are nowhere to be found let me just put it this way in my area so for a week now we have been using a hand sanitizer that we have made ourselves the question of today i just want to hear from you how are you guys doing and what are you using as a hand sanitizer or what are you using as um as a mask are you also in quarantine in your countries or you're still allowed to go to work and uh, go to school you go to school if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and if you like our channel always leave a comment if there's also any other video that you think i should do or you like to know from me leave that in the comment section then i still have a lot of, a little bit of time now that we kind of don't really have a lot of work to do i have maybe i would say i wait now about four hours a day just emails and conference calls uh, that's all i can do there isn't much i can do at home to do work that is equivalent to the eight or ten hours that i used to work when i'm out in the field toilet papers i was lucky today i found toilet paper in there it is scary when you go in there and you don't have a mask you really like okay now what am i going to do of course they have some rules like how far you should stay from away from the next person but you, you don't feel a little bit safer if you had a mask on to make my mask diy i use this uh cottons then i have something interesting please guys don't laugh i'm kind of desperate in it i just i'm using this when i go out i have this can you see these are my panty liners breathable they don't have any foil on it and then i have my normal stuff which is hair the scarf that i use on my hair if i had access to material like before i would probably do this using a filter from the pharmacy or from amazon but i don't have like amazon isn't even delivering stuff anymore so i can't buy the right filter that is needed for this that's why i opted to go i was thinking of an, like a normal menstrual pad like an absorbent but i don't have one and i thought it's probably not the best thing because i wanted something that's breathable and absorbents have like a, a plastic lining so what i have got is this so so creative and colorful and look what i did this is just layers of panty liners what i would do next I will also just lay it up with a, a lot of cotton especially if there's somebody in the supermarket next to you sneezing so I have oh, this is very difficult to show but I'm gonna try to show what I'm doing what I did this um, you can see that I don't want to keep over yeah so just layers of cotton on top of those pant liners and then I cover it in the middle are the layers of panty liners that I have lined up and I cover it like I do this basically and then that and then I have this thick it, it feels when I have this it feels more like the traditional absorbent that people used to make at village back in the days it, it's like that so this is how 
So this is what I do when I am going out. Now, it is quite breathable. You can walk around and still breathe with it. Maybe it doesn't look cute. I mean, the mask anyway doesn't look cute. It, I think it's actually quite good. For me, it made me feel a little bit safer when I'm outside other than just walking around like that, especially if I know that I'm going to enter a train or public bus or supermarket. Um, the other thing that I wanted to highlight here is that if you want to have a nice material that maybe you really close these parts here without squeezing your nose too much, use something like a stretchy material like a t-shirt or an arm of a t-shirt or something like that. This will work very well rather than a satin scarf. I'm using a satin scarf just because I feel in this color. I also love it and it goes with my jacket because my jacket is yellow. I'll show you how it looks like when I go outside. And Let's move on. Disinfectant for the hand. When it comes to dealing with the current situation, you have several options. Number one, and what is highly recommended, is really just make sure that you wash your hands with soap between 20 to 30 seconds at least that's what i read recently 20 to 30 seconds wash your hands that long like this 20 to 30 seconds is the time that your hands are covered with foam from the soap it's not the time that your hands are under the water is really like the coverage and the time that the the heads is soaked in this foam from the soap that is number one however we know that we can't wash our hands all the time that's why we're using disinfectant most of the things that you find in the market, they usually somewhere between 40% or oh, I think even less to, to maybe 50%. I know from our lab, we always used to use 70% ethanol. Uh, that would be nice. It's just very difficult to make at the moment for us, especially for me. Like I wanted to buy at least hydrogen peroxide because I know this is probably the best thing and you have to use it very low concentration 0.5% hydrogen very good I usually order it from Amazon but now I can order now that from Amazon it's not a delivery what I thought I could do was vodka and vodka is alcohol we all know that and it should work very well the thing is the best concentration of alcohol that's needed now should be around 60 percent in the market like i went through different grocery shops this maybe one so far i found one bottle that i know that it was indicated the 66 percent alcohol the rest are 37 to 40 and the highest i've seen is 45 we didn't we don't have vodka at home so what am i using at the moment we have this blue solution which is basically we have it in this bottle i just fill up the bottle i use it to spray my hands super simple maybe use this every time we're out if we're driving somewhere although now going out is very 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 rare but a few days a few times when you go out to buy groceries this is what you use or for using public transport this is usually the spray bottle for my hair but now we have it with the disinfectant after the situation is over we'll go back to using it for my hair but now it's just the disinfectant that's in here guess what this is this is the solution that we usually use in the car when this uh, when it's winter to make sure that um, it cleans the wind uh, the windscreen just it's anti-freeze anti-frost it's called like that for the car i tried using this and i thought it's good because we i checked it has 50 percent alcohol and then it has about 0.6 percent methanol and color is just fab stock which is just current and a little bit of um, lemon lemon flavor to it the thing is I think this is good i've been using it for a while i don't see any problem the only thing that i know is that not all these solutions like not all the brands have the same solution 
depending on where you are, some of these solutions contain ethylene glycol, which is very, very toxic. But there are some brands that already have the propylene. I mean, propylene is a form of glycol that is safe, and there are some that have that and they don't have the hazardous signs. So if you have that, absolutely, why not? And this is what we have, and I thought, absolutely, we can use it. I don't dilute it at the moment with anything because it's only 50% alcohol. What I do is add a little bit of, I've added a little bit of this, which is um, eucalyptus essential oil, just because I feel like it doesn't smell very well. This is what I add, eucalyptus. Excuse that. Spray, 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 every time. I don't even shake hands at the moment, but just if I on a public transport, I use this and that's it. Then also, it doesn't actually dry the hands that much. If I know if I was using 70% alcohol, it was going to dry out my hand. But maybe I will need to put a half to dilute it with a, with a little bit of aloe vera juice instead of water. Ignore everything that's written here because this is not the original thing. The original thing was transparent. So guys, that was it for me. Those are the two things that I'm using at the moment. Two things I'm using. My disinfectant at the moment that is just pretty much homemade. Everything that I, I try to make at home because you can't buy these things anymore. And the very last thing is my mask that I made by myself. <music> Thank you.